multi-production system, calibration process is necessary to achieve one large display. However, the calibration process manually done by the user is time-consuming and exhausted. To align the multiple projectors automatically, most of the previous work employed a time-multiplexing structured light pattern. The utilized camera is typically expensive and requires an elaborate installation process. Moreover, the observation of the entire area by the camera is almost impossible in small space surrounded by walls, as there is not enough distance for the camera to capture the entire scene. Our method addresses these issues by capturing only a portion of the walls that is visible to a handheld camera. This becomes possible by the introduction of our new structured light pattern scheme based on a perfect sum map. Our new spatial pattern is based on a perfect sum map that each point is encoded as a unique feature. Each element in the perfect sum map is converted to a symbol of concentric circle in a code pattern. A checkerboard image provides the accurate locations of point correspondences. The combined image comprised of these two patterns is used to identify the correspondences between the projectors and the cameras. This codification scheme enables our pattern to be flexible. The overlapped region of the pattern images is captured with the handheld camera. The decoding process follows the opposite operation of the pattern generation. From captured combined pattern image, the corresponding checkerboard pattern can be obtained. Then, the code pattern can also be recovered. By comparing code words of the perfect submap, we can calculate correspondence points between the captured pattern and the projected pattern. From these correspondence points, we compute the homography matrix between the camera view and the projector coordinates. The transformation between every projector node and a camera view node can be possible while homography matrix results in a form of undirected graph. By using the transformation between the camera views, a pseudo-single view can be created. The edges between walls, ceilings, and floor provide a clue to extract geometric information of the space. The vectors that pass through these edges and vanishing points can define the wall plane. The display region on each plane is determined using the vanishing point and the vectors. While the transformation between the projectors can add up the contribution of the projector on each pixel, the results of the alpha blending were possible. Our approach requires less than two minutes to complete the calibration process, such as the steps to construct, maintain, or fix a large display.
To prove the versatility of our system, we modeled a very small space with a dimension of 60 cm in width, 50 cm in height, and 70 cm in length. We put a handheld camera inside the setup. Then it is freely rotated and captures a portion of the scene. This shows the result.